for coming to Sabbath School with us today. Let's start with prayer. We're going to sing our prayer song, and you can kneel down with us at home. worship you in church. Amen. We're going to start this morning with TikTok. It's time for Sabbath school. So if you have some wooden spoons or Lincoln logs at home, you can TikTok along with us at home. So we'll sing this twice through. Mary. 
Mary didn't know what to name her baby. She didn't decide to name the baby Jesus. An angel came and the angel told her that she was going to have a baby and to name it Jesus. And I am so glad that she had a baby Jesus who would grow up and be the savior of our world. So we are going to sing, I am so glad that God sent his son. If you have banners at home or flags or scarves or napkins, you can wave them at home. Here, I am going to wave a flag. And we can sing this song twice.
can't go on a trip that long without some water. I'm sure they took some water with them. What would you have packed if you went on a long trip? At last, Mary and Joseph came to Bethlehem. They were so glad to have made it all that way. But there were a lot of other people that had come to Bethlehem. So they had to go around. There were no motel, no hotels, and they didn't have any friends to stay with in Bethlehem. So they had to go to the inns to see if there was any room. There wasn't any room, but we are going to go and knock at the inn. So if you want to go and knock on a door with me, or you can knock on the floor, we are going to knock on the door of the inn to see if there's any room. Thank you. 
because it's a very dry desert area and camels can go a long ways without drinking water. So these wise men probably rode on camels. So we are going to pretend to ride on camels today. So if you have a big blanket or a pillow, you can roll it up and ride on that and pretend that you are riding a camel too. We are going to sing the camel's winter walking. about that star of light that the wise men followed on their way to baby Jesus. If you have a flashlight at home, you can hold and wave your flashlight while we sing this song. Shine, shine, star of brought a few of their presents in boxes and they might have brought a few of their presents in jars. They brought frankincense, gold, and myrrh. Frankincense and myrrh were two sweet smelling perfumes and gold was worth a lot of money. They, they were gold stones or gold chunks or maybe gold coins but they brought them to the king. It was a traditional gift for a king. Did you know that God wants you to bring him a gift? But he doesn't want you to bring him gold or frankincense or myrrh or sweet smelling perfumes or even Christmas presents. God wants you to give him your love. Sometimes people say your heart, but what he wants is for you to say, I love you. That is what God wants to hear. So you can bring a little present or box with you to our baby Jesus, or you can just sing along with us at home. Let's grab our blanket and spread it out on the floor and 
and sit down on a soft spot and talk about people that knew Jesus. Our story this morning is about a man named Peter. Now, Peter was a really, really good friend of Jesus. Come on up close and let's hear this story. Liberty, are you out there? How about you, Caden or Casey, Corbin? It's time for the story. Come on up close and let's look at the picture. Now, Peter was such a good friend of Jesus that when Jesus went back to heaven, Peter went down to the temple and he started telling people what he had seen Jesus do and what kind of person Jesus was. And Peter was very brave. He went right into the temple and he started telling his story. Now, the people in the temple, they were excited about hearing that story. But not everybody was excited about Peter's story. The rulers thought that Peter was going to take their power away. And so they grabbed Peter and they hustled him off and put him in prison. And Peter started praying and all of Peter's friends started praying. And in the middle of the night when Peter was fast asleep, somebody tapped him on the shoulder. It was an angel. And the angel said, come on, Peter, wake up. And Peter rolled over and he noticed that the shackles that had been on his wrists and the shackles that had been on his ankles, they were lying on the floor. And Peter saw that the door that had locked him in was open and there were angels standing beside him. So he and the angels that had come to rescue him walked out the door and they walked down the hall in the prison and they came to the big prison gate and the gate was open. And Peter walked out onto the street and he looked around and it was the middle of the night and there was nobody there. Not even the angels who had just helped him get out of prison. So Peter walked down the street and he went to his friend's house where he thought his friends would be praying for him. And he knocked on the door and nobody came. And he knocked a little bit louder. He was kind of afraid because he'd just gotten out of prison. He had just broken out of prison with the help of an angel. And he didn't know whether somebody would come down the street and take him back to prison. But finally he just banged on the door and a servant girl came to the door and she said, oh, oh, it's you, Peter. And she closed the door and she went running back inside. She said to everybody, hey, Peter's here, Peter's here. And they all laughed and said, no, he's not, he's in prison. No, she's at the door. He's at the door, she said. And they all went to the door and sure enough, there was Peter. And they all went back up to the room where they'd been praying and they had a thanksgiving time. They had so much fun praising God together. Well, they all went to sleep that night, got a little bit of rest. And do you know what Peter did the next morning? Peter went back down to the temple and he started telling people his story about Jesus, about how Jesus had loved people so much and about how he would cared for them and healed them and made their lives better. Do you know something? Jesus loves you. He wants to come to your house. He wants to send his angels to your prison, whatever it is, and he wants to let you go free. He wants to give you happiness. Let's have a short word of prayer right now and talk to Jesus. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for always being love for always wanting to take good care of us and just waiting for us to give you permission. Be with us now as we celebrate the rest of this Sabbath day. Fill us with your spirit and help us to bring honor to your name. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Open the prison door. 
I am so glad that each of you came to spend your Sabbath with us here today, and I can't wait to see you again in person. So for today, I'm going to sing goodbye, and hopefully I will see you soon. We'll sing our song. Our 